Growing up in Colorado Springs, my family was really close. My mom and dad always taught my siblings and I to take care of each other and others. Working at a diner in my hometown, I met my son's father who was stationed at the nearby army base. We eventually moved to central New York, far away from my family. Within a few months, I started a new job where I felt I found another family I could count on. I soon discovered I could count on my son's grandmother who lived right down the road. Her name is Elizabeth, but everyone who knows her lovingly calls her Nana. Nana has suffered with kidney disease for over a decade now. My love for her grew as the years went by, but her condition started to deteriorate. In 2022, Nana took a turn for the worse. She was hooked to a dialysis machine for 10 hours a day. Several family members stepped in to be tested to donate a kidney to her, but were unable to match or qualify. That's when I knew I had to take action. I began the screening process with the transplant unit at the local hospital and was told that while I was a good candidate to donate, I was unfortunately not a match for Nana. This news was devastating. It seemed that everyone who loved her was trying to help her, but we kept running into roadblock after roadblock. The next day, the transplant center reached out and told me about the National Kidney Exchange Program. Nana and I would look for a match as a team, a donor for her, a recipient for me. It would put her on the national registry and increase her chances to find a match by 80%. I agreed instantly and we were activated on the list. Less than 24 hours later, they called and gave us the amazing news. We had a match. Three weeks later, we went in for surgery. We would go in at the same time. As her donor kidney came in on a flight for life, my kidney left via ambulance to a recipient in a different state. It's been six months post-surgery. Today, I'm healthy with one kidney functioning 100% for my body, but I can't to explain the turnaround on her health. No longer needing dialysis, Nana has passed the window of rejection, and this journey has made such a positive impact on our family.